Hello everyone, uh, I would like to talk about instances inside of the engine. Let's, let's start. Mm -hmm. Let's open our empty blender scene, go to the geometry nodes, add um, any object, uh, delete points or polygons, and add a geometry nodes modifier. Press new. We don't need some input. And let's add something simple. For example, um, mesh primitives. Uh, say we want grid. Uh, let's plug um, the grid size to, to the group node input node. Uh, let's plug our grid. Alright. We have this. Uh, let's save our blend file. I will call the new folder as nodes. I will call blend file instances. Save blend file. Alright. Let's get back to Unity to create a new object. Zero, zero, zero. Add the component, the engine component. And we need to add our blend file. Drop and drop here. And press update nodes. We need this uh, to get uh, adjacent in inputs from Blender. Alright, uh, run nodes. And we can see we have something. Um, a plane. Uh, let's put our sphere high and Something like that. And we have uh, inputs, we have size. Let's add it to 10 meters, for example. Run nodes. Alright, amazing. Uh, probably 50 meters. Good, good, very good. Uh, let's get back to our jump to nodes. We have a uh, great now we need to um, add some points on the grid. Uh, instances on points node, we need this. We need um, distribute points on faces. Let's plug density. And to the seed. To test what we get uh, according to instances, we can add um, a mesh primitive. For example, in the sphere. Uh, so point one, for example. Alright, these are our instances. Uh, press save or Ctrl S. Let's get back to Unity. Uh, run nodes. And we have a lot of pinky boxes. That's, that's fine, because we didn't specify our instances yet. Alright. Mm. Oh, sorry, these are not boxes, these are exactly our spheres. Let's set. Let's update those. Just update our inputs. Uh, set density to a five. Let's run this again. All right. For example, something like that. Uh, we can add material to our instances. Let's create material. Here, uh, our again. Good, good, very good. We have we have our instances. What if instead of these spheres, we would like to get some prefabs? That's very easy to do. Uh, all we need to add is. 
and attributes. Uh, so we need to go attributes, store names, attributes, and call it the instance. Like that. That means that this is a B engine attribute. You can colorize your node just so that you know, always know that this attribute belongs to B engine only. We need to set it to integer and we need to set specify a domain, but for B instance there could be any domain. It just takes one value once. Uh, for example, we will set it to zero. Press save, and all we need to do is to go to output instances and add one element. Let's drag and drop something here uh, into our instance. Uh, I need to add something, for example, tree, and run nodes again. Here we are. Uh, we have a forest. Well, let's sentence it to 0 0.3. Probably that's too much. <laughs> Strange, it didn't help. Uh, Alright, probably the size. We can increase the size. Yeah, that should work. Yeah, that definitely works. Uh, let's increase size to 20. Yeah, good, good. Uh, probably 0 0.05. Yeah, good, good. Um, now we have our forest. Uh, how we can change scale? Uh, we can get back to our <coughs> to our jump to nodes, and we have a scale parameter here. We can add random value. Um, we see from zero point five to one. For example, let's plug it. Save our nodes. And we have a difference. Uh, probably from 0 0.3. And we can do the same with rotation. Uh, let's duplicate random value and set it to vector. Uh, add the rotation here, and I think this value should be different. Um, Press save, get back to Unity. Oh no, uh, there's a different one Probably this one. And not this one. Probably this one. Let's set it to zero and here are just one. Let's check what will happen. Yeah, probably this guy. Yes. I just forgot that uh, I have uh, some values here. Um, because uh, at the moment, uh, as far as I know, this is in radians. This value is in radius. So we have our forest. Uh, we can plug. Uh, we can plug also some bushes. Let's duplicate this. Jump geometry. And duplicate this. Uh, 
uh, instead of spheres, we can add uh, a different primitive, say cone. Uh, we can change uh, seed value when distributed. We will plug uh, new density and new seed here. All right. Uh, so this, this is uh, all right. Let's plug it here. Um, here, randomize it, and randomize it this. Our size. Let's change seats. Also, we can change our default values if we select group input. Uh, let's go to the group node, uh, select this seed, sorry, that's this seed value and set it to 50 for example. Density to 1, this density to 1. And mm, that's all. We mm, can join this as separate box. All right, we have some here. Uh, press save. Let's get back to Unity. Uh, also, I forget. Sorry, I forgot one thing. We need to change an instance index for our bushes. Press one, save, and we need to add another one element. Uh, element one. I will add a different mesh. Oh, add this one. Press run. And we have a lot of bushes. Uh, we need to update those so that we get new values here. Alright, and we can play with this as you want. We can change density to 3, for example, and nodes. Much, much more bushes. All right. So that's how it works. Thank you very much.